hoping to make a change. Raph, Anastasia and Charlotte are studying here at Newcastle University. They're hoping that it could become the first in England to give out tampons and sanitary pads to its fellow students for free. We in our Student Advice Centre give away um, like emergency packs for when students come in and want to, want to take them. This is on a very small basis um, and they don't get used too much. This is obviously because, again, several organisations, this is a proposal to the university on a much wider scale. One third of people living in the UK have experienced period poverty, where sanitary pads or tampons are too expensive to buy, forcing them to go without and use alternatives. In 2017, a study found that almost half of girls in the UK have missed a day from school because of their period. Research emerging from food banks actually shows that, that sanitary products and toiletries are now very heavily requested items and quite often you know, parents and young people are having to make decisions, is it food, heating, sanitary protection, toiletries, and that's, you know, that's a, a really real issue in the UK at the moment. You know, when you go to the toilet in school, you might put, you know, like a sanitary pad in your hand or in your pocket so no one sees, and even though that's not a massive thing, it does add up and it does kind of contribute to this culture where people don't want to talk about it, people call it, you know, that time of the month, like that kind of thing that people aren't open to discussion so although I've not experienced you know any of the quite severe period poverty I definitely understand the stigma around it I think that's what we're trying to change as well it's not just for very severe cases it's just every day. Universities in Scotland became the first in the world to give students access to free sanitary products last year. Women's issues are in the spotlight more than ever before. Here, the plans are still in the early stages with the university, yet the cost of the plan is still not known. Sophie Halsey for North East Live.